Hi guys, today obviously with the main deadline day yesterday I'm going to talk about the three players that left Sunderland yesterday. There were Danny Graham um, had his contract cancelled, Elliot Empleton had his, like, has joined Blackpool on loan and is also signing a one year contract and Will Grigg has joined MK Dons on loan. So I'm going to start Will, I mean I'll just start with Danny Graham because that one. What are my thoughts on Graham? I'm happy he's gone. It just hasn't worked out at Sunderland really. Um, he he like hasn't like delivered anything like in his two spells. I think someone said that that um that he's got two goals in forty odd games. Like if you combine the two spells, what obviously isn't acceptable for a striker. He did say that he wants to like go and play football. What well, I can definitely understand that I'm really at age thirty five, where where like he wants to go somewhere where he can play it, and I do agree with that. Um, as well, I don't think it helps that he's a Newcastle fan, and he and before he signed the first time, he came out and said how much he hates us. So it's not ideal that someone who hates you trying to play for you. That's another reason. I mean, it's worth, one thing I will say, I can't question Danny Graham's work rate, effort and stuff, because especially the first time, time he rang his bollocks off, what he wanted to do well. I do think he wanted to do this well this season, but, but it just hasn't worked, worked out. I mean, it came to the point where he didn't even get named as a substitute on Saturday. So yeah, so I guess good luck to him. I hope he does, does well and but I do think it's the right decision and it's dead wood moving out where players that is not like needed anymore. So yeah. Then the second one, Elliot Embleton joined Blackpool on loan and signing a one year contract expensing at the same time. In my opinion, I'm disappointed Embleton is going out on loan because especially against Ipswich when he came off the bench. He is a creative player who can like do like bits and pieces here and there. But I think the reason why he is going out on loan is because we can't guarantee him first team football. And to be fair, like I've said, I mean, I was impressed with him against some. He, has he been great since his team? Back, no, from injury. But has he been awful for me? No, no, I mean. I hope he goes to Blackpool and do does well, and that's going to raise my think We're giving him the year's contract extension. It is like so. See if he goes and sets is to protect our asset. So if he goes to Blackpool, be becomes one of the best players in the league. Um, like we can't like lose out if you get what I mean, because he'll still be our player for next season. So yes, I mean, Embleton. I hope does well, and I hope. Will get everyone into the team because I think that might be another reason why we let Embleton go. Because if we think about it, we've got McGeady, we've got Jones in front of him, we've got Goots um, in front of him, Maguire's also still a Sunderland player. So will Embleton get past any of them? I think he was, might get past Maguire, but the other four, I do not see him getting past. So I'm not, I mean, I was surprised, and it was surprising to say Ambleton go, but at the same time, I can understand why they've done it. And I hope that, hopefully, this loan spell of 20 plus games in League One for the rest of the season can help him, like, become a good, like, a better, to, like, come back to a better player than what he has left in next season. Really come and help, help us, because I do think we'll be in League One. And next season, if, he, if we don't sell him, will be a make or break. So yeah, the final one, Will Grigg. I am absolutely buzzing Will Grigg when the MK Don's who we're actually playing tonight. Uh, in the Papa John's Trophy, just remember I've got a video, I'll do a math review, but back to Will Grigg. Um, Will Grigg just hasn't worked at Sunderland. He's never wanted to be here because he even admitted he wanted to stay at Wigan. But yeah, is Will Grigg a bad striker? No, probably not. It's just that he hasn't wanted to like be here. If you get what I mean, and he hasn't even tried. Was whether you, if you even if you saw his first interview, view like two years ago today, I mean, it's absolute 
horror in his face because he didn't want to come if you get with me. Um as well as well it hasn't helped but I don't think he's been managed properly because yeah you could argue he's not in the right system but I do think he's confident being dream man managed by taking him in the help but I still know what to do. The amount of sitters he has missed it was a joke. I remember again them kid on to Oxide earlier this season. He missed a goal from two yards. Literally he was on the line. If he had got any form of touch save, maybe hit just hit off him, the ball would have went in. But he didn't bother going for it. So yeah. I do obviously hope he does well because people might see it um and that if he does well he might come back a different player and stuff what he could score 100 goals in the last 20 games of this league, one season for MK Don, and I wouldn't want him back. But I hope he does well to show like his value can go up and we can get a command bigger fee for him than what could Daniel did like this month. But let's wait and see. Do I think he'll go up, go to MK Don, score goals? He'll score some goals, I think, but he won't get. One like like I've said, he won't get ten. I don't think. I just think he's think he could be finished as a striker. What I hope he's not. Not the two options after the loan is if this if it is well for him to fight for place, place in the last year of his contract at summer, or leave in the summer. What hasn't most likely is leave leave in the summer. So yeah, so that's the end of the video. Video um, um, leave your opinion on Graham, Greg, and Embleton leaving. If I had to guess, I think Pay will be happy with Graham and Greg, and then I think Embleton fans will be 50 50 on if I'm on it. But yeah, so I'll be back later on tonight to hopefully review Sunderland, a Sunderland win against MK Dons and um, get us in the Papa John Trophy semi final. Then we can really start thinking about going to Wembley, even though we won't be allowed. So yes, yeah, so that's the end of the video. Like, subscribe. View, comment, and see. Yeah.